True or false? You need to cut out treats and junk food in order to lose weight. What do you think? Can you eat potato chips and lose weight? Can you eat out? Can you eat fast food? Can you eat junk food and still lose weight? Tell us in the comments what you think about this. Well, I am Sarah with The Holy Mess, and in this video series, we are dispelling common weight loss myths that might be stopping you or keeping you stalled in your weight loss journey. So is it true? Do you have to cut out all treats and junk food? I'm a Reese's peanut butter fan. Do I have to give up my Reese's peanut butter eggs and my Cadbury mini eggs at Easter time so that I can lose weight? This is false. It is not true. So many times people think that the only way to lose weight and keep it off is to cut out all junk food. That would be great if we were robots and not human beings. It's just not realistic. Nothing magic happens at your goal weight, friend. So whatever you do to lose weight is what you need to do to maintain your weight. So if you say, I am never eating the Thin Mints again, does that mean that for the rest of your life, you're never going to eat another Girl Scout cookie or you're never going to have a piece of cake on your birthday or you're never going to go out with um, a friend or your husband and order that fancy dessert? Well, I can tell you for me, the answer is no. I would never be able to maintain that for the rest of my life. So what can you do? The answer is to incorporate these foods in a safe way for you. I teach a concept called the treat box. Yes, I really do have a box where I keep my treats. And if it's tough for you to have a whole bag or a whole box of something, maybe you don't. Maybe instead of the big, you know, Walmart family size bag of chips, I get some individual chips. Or maybe it's better that I don't bring chips into the house. Maybe I need to have those only when I go to Subway and I order an individual bag. It's bringing foods into the house in a way that's safe for you so that you can learn to manage them. So there is some truth, but there's also some myth. All right, for today's mini challenge, choose one. I'm gonna give you three options. Choose one and share in the comments which one you're going to do. Number one, if you haven't done it yet, check out my post about the treat box where I walk you step by step through how to manage food safely. Number two, plan ahead one food that you will eat outside of the house. Maybe it's not a good idea for you to bring in a big gallon size of ice cream right now, but you could go out with a friend or family member and have a small ice cream cone at McDonald's or Dairy Queen. Number three, sit and eat a treat without distraction. So many times when we have our treats and our junk food, we eat it in front of the TV, we don't even notice. You look down and you say, wait, wait, what happened to my cookies I was eating? All of a sudden they're gone. If you're going to eat a treat, sit down and enjoy it guilt-free. All right, tomorrow we're going to talk about, this is a bonus episode, our final video in this series, weight loss medication is cheating true or false. Tune in and we'll talk about it then. Thanks.